Hello everybody, this is Stocky here, and welcome to another episode of me playing uh, Railworks 3 Train Simulator 2012. Um, this is just going to be a short episode. I was going to do Euro Truckers, but I've just been a little bit too busy and haven't got the time to do it. So I thought I would continue where I died yesterday, and basically just redo this mission, and see if I went a little better this time. So basically what we want to do... Um, what are you... That one there is boiler pressure, so I want to get my boiler pressure up before I really start going. So let's crank open the firebox. What's our fire mass? A thousand and a bit. Mm. Let's. What's our water level? Water level's pretty good. I'm just going to go for a little bit of the number two injector. I'm going to go for a little bit of. a little bit of shoveling. Now this one here is the blower, so I'm going to really crank that blower up. And hopefully what that should do, is that should help it to stoke the fire a little bit and help me to build this boiler pressure up. Hopefully. Oh, there we go, look at that, 190. So we're, we're now building up our boiler pressure, which is great. Something like... I hear that noise and I want to know what it's causing it. Yeah. I don't know what's causing it, but I've decided I'm going to take, release the brakes. So I want that to get to about 21 inches. I want to learn where these gauges are. Um, where's my brake gauge? Are you my brake gauge? Yeah, I don't know where my brake gauge is. Oh, whatever. So we want to go for the smallest amount of running brake that we can which I think is seven so yeah today this is serious train driving time okay so we're going to go regulator full forward what's our boiler pressure up to now 188 it has not actually gone up hmm well never mind that what I think we're going to do now is we're going to start moving so what do we need to do? Um, Trying to look at what I need to do. I need to probably start this thing moving. I just want to make sure I don't mess anything up. There's a button here somewhere. That one? Small ejector, cylinder cocks. So we're going to open the cylinder cocks, which, as you can see, basically that's a whole lot of steam out the side. Once we let that bunch of steam out, we start ourselves slowly moving forward. And basically, you can see there the... Oop, why can't I see it? How do I go back? There we go. You can see we're getting a bit of rotation here. Now once we've got a couple of rotations, we would normally close the cylinder cocks, but in this case, um, stop, 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 brakes on, brakes on people, brakes on, stop, everybody stop, everybody stop, we're going to die. That did not go well. How do I... Trying to work out how to make this thing rotate around. Okay. Um, fail. I'm going to uh, quit, start again, and try and see if we can go through things a little bit quicker this time and get it right. So I'm going to pause the video and back in a second. Okay, uh, here we are, back again. This time, we do things a little bit quicker. Don't go too high there. Crank that up, crank that up. Get lots of flow going through there. Release the brakes. Then, once this gets the right pressure, we're about 21. We want to start to lap them. There we go, 21. We start to lap the brakes. Give that full forward. We'll pop open the cylinder cocks. 
not going to wait around quite as long this time but we are going to rotate this around there we are it is now correctly aligned so now when we start moving yep okay so cylinder cocks are open we're moving now giving ourselves a couple of rotations blowing a bunch of steam out the sides close the cylinder cocks, steam stops coming out we're now putting all our steam where we want it to be I don't know what this thing here is I wonder if I can zoom in a bit this must be some kind of speed gauge but clearly must be in some weird metric like inches per second or something but it's clearly not miles per hour so chucking along beautifully give ourselves a bit more power now this isn't absolutely necessary to drop this right down so much so quickly but it's the, it's the best way to really reduce your steam loading now the next thing I'm going to do here is reduce the blower to the point where it is almost zero Whoops. okay got a little bit more speed now it's basically what I'm looking to do here as I'm choot choot chugging along is not use too much steam keep everything up fairly well in fact that's getting a little bit too high now but we're starting we're about to start running up this bit of a hill here Gonna try to not get too far ahead of myself here Okay, so now we're really starting up the hill now. Now we should have hit the 70 mile per hour, so let's push up the throttle to just kind of hold this speed. Now I worked out what it was that killed me in yesterday's episode. It was the fact that I went into a tunnel I did not realise I was going into at speed and caused myself some issues. Now you can see here I'm using quite a lot of steam I'm actually using slightly more than I'm making at the moment which is a recipe for a drop in boiler pressure but I don't think it's overall going to be too problematic I think I'm going to be yeah, so definitely close the blower now I'm going to turn the injector off and that should let me keep up a good temperature now hopefully yeah, I'm still definitely using a bit more steam than I'm making which means you can see my pressure is dropping off but I'm going uphill so I don't think that's unreasonable yeah you can see that if I really change these numbers around here if I drop that back to there I can now really be making a lot more than I'm using by just kind of adjusting the difference in positions between these two dials here that's kind of what I really want to do I'm getting some good speed up too now I believe those symbols there mean I'm coming up to a tunnel so I've got to make sure when I get to this tunnel that there you can see there's the tunnel so I've got to close my firebox before I go into the tunnel to make sure I don't get back blow So you can see the boiler pressure is jumping back up nice and high. Just bleeding off a little bit now, that's okay. Got plenty of water. Plenty of that. I'm not going to open this back up because this is where I went wrong last time. Because I opened it up when I wasn't paying attention. And just around this bend is a tunnel. See, I think it's just there is the tunnel. that's what caused me my issue last time so 
think we're doing okay now. We're also... Need to keep that there. Need to back the regulator right off here. Because we're on our way downhill. I'm just going to leave a little bit of regulator because I want... I think they say you got to keep things lubricated. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the brakes to make sure I keep a good speed coming down to the Milton area. So we're applying the brakes a little. See, brake pressure is dropping very slowly. I'm going to go for about 15 inches here. Now I'm going to lap the brakes. There we go. So now we lap the brakes and that'll basically should just hold the same pressure we currently have. There we go, it's holding the pressure, which is a very slowly slowing us down. And we'll pop out of the tunnel in a second. Got how are we doing for everything here? Doing pretty well. There we go. So we'll open that up. Now we're coming up to the station, so we really need to put some more brake on here. We're going to miss the station. No, we're not doing too badly. So I'm going to... Oh, back we go. Going to basically... Go back to a kind of a heavy running brake. Going to release them up. Can't see the station. I don't know which side of the road it's on. But I mean, clearly we're about to hit a 30 mile an hour zone anyway, so... a little bit of brake pressure here because now we're going to have to shunt up to this train here that's broken down <coughs> so got to really kind of crawl things up to the train here I think, to be fair, um, that was a little bit rough. Just to be fair, I think I shunted that a little bit harder than I needed to, so passenger comfort is not likely to have been as high as I would like it to be. That's okay, though. You know, passenger comfort isn't everything. Uh, we want to now give ourselves a little bit of forward. We'll couple ourselves up. The pilot locator is in ineffective for now. We've got to complete the stops at Wellow, Shoscom and Radstock. Passenger already boarded, so let's keep moving. In this case, we really want to open it up a bit here. For some reason my keyboard controls are no longer working. So I'm not sure what I've done, but I've lost my fine motor skills. For that, um... I don't know what's happened. I, I, don't, I don't know what's happened. It's taken away my controls! Please give me them back. How are we doing here? we got lots of that. Oh, probably almost too much water. Got a pretty good fire mass. Oh, wow, lots of boiler pressure. Which is just fantastic, that's really good. Here we are, chuffing along. Come on. Shouldn't... 
didn't really want to do that because now my that kind of made my steam usage go up above my steam generation and like I said I'm not really driving this the most effective way because I'm dropping the regulator back really really quickly or the cutoff back really quickly but it is certainly working and I should have probably opened the cylinder cocks just a little bit before I started you see the boiler pressure is going up quite a lot now so maybe I, I do want to use a bit of extra steam yeah, just use a bit of extra steam here to bring the boiler pressure down a bit ok so here we are coming up to the next stop so we'll back this right down start to apply the brakes lap those brakes where they are. Hopefully we'll get things lined up for the station here and it'll be working well. Hopefully. Nobody's died yet so that's, that's critical to my plan. Okay, so we'll release the brakes. We're still, we're still losing a lot of speed here so that's okay because it does take a while for the brakes to basically unlock because they haven't stopped until they get to 21 now they're at 21 so they basically stopped now that that's happened we're kind of building up a little bit of speed again which we don't want so we're going to apply the brakes just a touch just to make us start to slow down And at this point if we lap them, I basically hold us slowing down at that speed is what should happen. Yep, so I probably applied just a fraction too much. Okay, I don't know which one's actually my brake gauge or anything like that, so these numbers don't seem to make sense. We can see here we're coming up to the station, kind of slowly chugging our way along. Probably a bit too slow, so take the brakes off. I need to learn about braking distances and things for this train. Okay, oops. Did not mean to stop the regulator then. Okay. See, we've self lapped the brakes. We haven't actually got the brakes on. What we've done now is we've lapped them about seven pounds of pressure on the brake pads. At least I think that's what that means. It's probably to be strictly true, it's probably seven pounds of pressure in the pipes. So we're not so we're not quite there. No wonder that thing's not working, it's a brown rusty engine. There's me. Just keep pushing along at the back here. Get us lined up on the station. That's why this is such a good little diagram here, because you can really see things that... I mean, from the train here, you could you'd have a lot of trouble seeing that. Turn on a fraction of blower. Drop the regulator right back. I thought I had it lined up for sure then. I've got to get this last bit here lined up and then we're good. There we go. Probably want to close the firebox too while I'm not moving. Okay, the application of brakes is now appropriate. Just bring this thing to a stop. Right, a stop, great. 
Now we want to click the button to make the people get on and off. All aboard! See, you know, I can do it. Takes a little work. It's a little uh, jerky for the passengers. The timing's not great. So time for running brakes. Uh, I think I might have released the brakes a bit too much. It looked like I was actually starting to move them. Oops. I didn't want the ejector, I wanted the cox. Now I want to start pumping this up. Open the regulator right up. Back that down. And now we're moving. Moving, moving, we're moving. Yeah. 25. We've got a heaps of boiler pressure here, so let's let's really open this thing up. What I'm doing is actually quite bad because you can see the boiler pressure is dropping off pretty quick. That's the water level doing. 66. Open the injector up just a touch. Close that. Keep that open. Just get a little bit more water in there. How are we doing? 43 miles an hour. Still cruising along. Just in case we come up to a hill, I probably want to back that off a little. Just until I know I'm in a position where... There we go. It's about 75 where I think I'm kind of getting as much as I should be. Now I do need to stop there, I believe. So let's bring this right down. Gonna just kind of really slowly apply the brakes. Over on there, about 14 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I just have no idea what that gauge is trying to tell me. What's the small font say? Nothing. That one there, that's the, ooh. nice. So I mean that seems to be a good amount of brake pressure I applied because I'm kind of slowly bringing it down. Whoa. That train was moving. Oop, cracked my head on the center pole. Definitely coming up to the station now, and I, I wouldn't say I'm coming up at speed. I think I'm actually coming up at a pretty good speed. Still got a good amount of boiler pressure going on. Maybe we want to just back that off to running a bit. What I've done now is I've just kind of put it to 17 inches instead of 14. So I slow down a little bit slower, because I've got to get all the way up to there. This rain is just really annoying. Stupid rain. So We're about to come to a stop, so we'll turn that on. Turn that off, I feel. No, we're going to need more water. Time to start the application of a little bit more braking force. Come on, just line them up, line them up, line them up, line them up. That is looking good, look at that. Pulled into the stop like a pro. Now I'm going to release the brakes. 
once that's up to almost 20, I'll lap them again. So that means they should be pretty quick to let on and off next time. Look at that, it's like a serious, serious pro, uh, except for that back carriage. But nobody really wanted to get on and off of that. And this thing says green, so it says I'm good, even if it doesn't think I am. So what's our next stop? We've got a thingy here? No, we've got a thingy here. Pick up passengers from Shuscombe and Single Halt 1, and then we've got to go to Red Stock number 2. That sounds easy. And how hard can it be to go to Red Stock number 2? Windblown locals inform me there were fallen trees, including one blocking the line after Radstock. Eh, yeah, what does that mean? I guess more importantly than what does it mean, what does it mean to me? Okay, so, um, how do I toot my toot? Why am I not whistling? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I know how to whistle now. Telling me I can't whistle. Let's get this puppy moving. So once again we want to get this up to about 75. Then we want to start to bring this thing back. See the steam generation and steam everything just drops so much. Turn that off, how's our water going? Quite low. I'm gonna turn both of these injectors on. Ah the, that's the one I wanted to turn up. Ha ha ha. Locomotive ran out of water. What? Come on, speeding once. 16 in a 15 zone. Fatal mistake, locomotive ran out of water. I was just like looking at the water gauge and the water gauge said 0.5 something. How can I... Ah oh man, that doesn't even make sense. Sometimes I hate this game. It's such a cool game, but sometimes I hate it so bad. Well... In that case, let's go for something electric. Super Express concept at the test track. This thing is just going to be fast. So I'm going to pause the video and be back in a sec. Okay. Time to make fast things happen. Um, good afternoon. Time to be fast. Time to be awesome. So. Okay, I got this. Let's put ourselves in forward mode. Now this is like the easy train driving set. So you push this above above zero percent and you're accelerating. You pull it back below zero, you're braking. It automatically controls the brakes. All you gotta do is you gotta set forward, you gotta set back. Couldn't be any simpler. Ooh. I've got my pantograph up apparently. Clearly not seeing the pantograph raising and lowering. It's like the animation's broken, but that's okay. But here I am, I'm at 50%. Heading towards the test track platform. So I believe... Oops. I have to pick up some passengers. So let's just really gently apply the brakes. See, this is either you're going forward or you're not going forward. I think, I think it is that diesel electric kind of thing. Let's look at this Gucci control panel. Look at that. Flashy. Now, I thought I read somewhere. I thought I read somewhere there's a way to turn this panel here off. And clearly I don't know what it is, but I read there was a way to do it. Quiet inside. Maybe that's just because I'm going down near zero and this thing goes up to 150. So yeah. Come on. Okay, boring now. There we go, let's accelerate. I'm going to 
bring ourselves to a stop as the butt of the train reaches the platform. Um, clearly that will do for me. Okay, everybody on. What are you? Brake cylinder pressure, brake pipe pressure, whatever, I don't care. It's going to take a while to load all these people on. So then we need to go via large loop gate 1. Um, okay, large loop gate 1. So we're going to clearly want to be on that track there. So where are we right now? Whoopsies! That didn't work that well. Don't know what I just did then. Okay, now I've got to complete three circuits of the test track. So we need to go up that way. That brings us up, that brings us around, that takes us down. Large loop gate one. Perfect. Everything's all lined up. Go to large loop gate one. How do we toot toot? Okay, there we go. Letting everyone know we're going. Time to drive. Time to drive. Clearly you can't see me with my little bad dancing, but we're driving. Uh, take screenshot. Okay. Leaving the station. Don't want to exceed 25 miles an hour. Tss, clearly don't want to get done for speeding this time. But... Oh, wipers. Nice. Lights on. Lights... Oh, wow, look at that. That's a pretty bright light. Um, how do I get back? Zoom out. Light goes on. One light, two lights. Off lights. I can't even see that. That's odd. Again, bring ourselves up to speed a little bit. Got to be more, more aggressive with my speedifying. Seems to like a third, which is like coasting power, and 50, which is like go faster power. That's okay, because if we look at the map... Oh man, I hate it when that happens. Okay, let's look at the map. You can see there's me. I'm coming around. Once I get to about here, I should really be gunning it. Opening it up a little bit. Powering this thing up. Who are we looking at over there? Ooh. Ooh, there's a, there's a spare flashy seat. Let's see if we can... And we go back. No, uh, we can... Oh. Sitting in the flashy seat. Well, he's got a red button, poor guy. Okay, there's large loop gate one. I think once we hit that spot, we're good to go. There's the test siding, so maybe that's the point. Come on, I just want something fun to happen. 50. Let's start to throttle this thing up a bit. I think that says the speed limit becomes 125 once we get to there. Hundred and fifty. Look at that. Are you my throttle? You are. You're the power lever. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, we want this baby on full power. Look at that. Forward, neutral, reverse, off. Tss, how hard do train drivers have it? Um, where's our, where's our beep? It's got to be a beep button. Hazard lights, exterior lights, sander. Washer jet, panograph. Maybe I want that down now. See if that makes us go any faster. Uh, no, we lose speed when that's down. Okay, so let's put that back up. So we're getting. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting power again. We're an electric train. So uh, clearly, I have a beep beep. So where's the button for my beep beep? Um. Nope. 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 Passenger emergency holdover signal bell? Nope. Do 
door interlock. That sounds good. Let's make no, you're definitely closed. Horn control. Ha. So let's uh, let's go back to where we just were. We are now doing 85 plus miles an hour, zipping around the corner. I feel like I'm getting a bit of a lean going. Oh, of course I am. Look at that. If only all trains could go this fast. I mean, I was struggling to do 60 in my steam train. I don't know what the actual purpose of this is, though. What does it say the purpose is? Go via all those places. And then stop. That's pretty boring. I would much rather just see how fast we can go. Where's the turbo overboost button? Okay, oh, emergency brake. I'm glad I didn't hear that. That is clearly not the turbo overboost. Um, yeah, hazard lights. Can't turn them. Oh, headlights. Whatever. There's Large Loop Gate. So this is where I came past before. This is where I joined the track. Only I wasn't doing 112 miles an hour when I joined the track before. Tss, look at that train over there. Look how slow they are. Mm, normal tilt. Oop. Oop. Okay. That was bad. So clearly when you flick that to isolated, the train can't tilt and I felt like I was going to roll over. Got my 120. I mean there's a train called I think the Mallard or something like that that can do 125. And it's a steam train. So clearly I have to be able to go faster than that. 124, 125, there we go, now we're getting somewhere. Leaning into it, 126. Set my goal for 135. By that time I feel as though I'll be bored. And by then I'll be wanting to do something else. So hopefully we get there pretty soon. And then I can turn tilt control off and see if we can roll it. That sounds like fun. 133. Thirty-five. There we go. Do a control off. Now let's see what's coming up on the track. Um, so, oopsies. So here we come here. Uh, I don't think we have any ability to change those points over. So let's. Here we do. Let's take the tight inside track just there. This is bound to go badly now. Okay. We've clicked ourselves. Clicked ourselves. Oh, 146. Really getting the speed up now, and we're not tilting. So, any second now, we should be about to jump on it. Oh, oh no, now we're actually speeding. That's cool. And now we're on the inside track. We're about to do the bit of a wheel wobble. Ah, oh, come on, I wish I was an out. Give, give me an outside view. There we go. That is what happens when you hit a bit of a wibble wobble at 150 odd miles per hour. Nice. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. More death, more destruction, more trains. A stocky out.